know, like a half a teaspoon a few times a day, that should be sufficient. Now, ideally, the best thing is to avoid all non-organic food because it potentially could be contaminated with glyphosate. So that's the number one thing. But if you're, it would be wise to take glycine as, as a, as a uh, supplement. Uh, then two other things, once you mentioned the pH diet, uh, and that certainly is good. Uh, you can go plant-based or you can go carnivore, but I think, and I'm a, more of a fan of carnivore, but the, uh, I think optimizing the pH is really crucial and it's very simple and easy to understand how to do that and, and assess it for yourself individually. And the way you do that is you get some litmus paper. You can get it easily on Amazon or anywhere else. It's inexpensive and you dip it in your urine and it should be about seven. Now, if you're not doing anything specific to address your pH, I can almost guarantee you it's going to be six or five or even four. The lower it is, the more acidic you are. You don't really want to go much above seven. You want to want to be eight, nine or 10. So somewhere between seven and eight. Uh, and then if you're at that level, then your pH is optimized because your body's pH is about 7.4. Uh, and the easiest, simplest way to do this, it was with, with bicarbonate. And you can do it one of two ways. The inexpensive, cheap way is baking soda, which is sodium bicarbonate. And you and it tastes pretty terrible. But, you know, if you put a quarter of a teaspoon, you don't need large amounts of a quarter to a half a teaspoon a few times a day and figure out what dose you use to turn your urine pH. You can test it yourself and you can see if you're taking too much or not enough. And you just find the right dose for you. Now, once you've found the right dose, you typically don't have to retest your urine because it's going to be about the same, but that's a simple, easy way to improve it. And will not only improve your uh, pH, your resiliency for your immune system, but also protects your bones from mineral loss. Because when your pH is acidic, you have to extract minerals like calcium and magnesium from your bones to, to nullify or neutralize those, the, those acids. So it helps you retain the uh, minerals in your bones and, and, and decreases your risk of osteoporosis. So a simple thing, you could also use potassium bicarb, maybe alternate between the two is another, another option. Let me take my time because there's a whole lot of information. I don't want to jog it up. Anything that has a pH of seven plus is alkali. Anything that has less, five, four, three, two, one, is acid. But since we were compromised, we left all our food in Africa. You and I don't even know what we ate in Africa. So don't even go there. But we have the opportunity because one of your brothers happened not to go to school and look outside of the paradigm of school and found something altogether different. And what did I find? That anything that God made is on the alkali side. Why? The molecular structure is complete. It was made by nature, not man. Anything that God made has no starch. That's another thing. Anything that nature makes has no starch. Anything that man made has to have starch because starch is a binder. To titrate two unequal chemicals, you have to use a starch. Starch is not a food. Starch is a chemical. And what have we been eating since they took us away from Africa? Starch and blood. Starch and blood. Sebi, when he became the engineer, and he found out that the pH value of things had a lot to do with healing and the properties that's to be used, I was happy.